Hey everyone, this video is on light bulbs in series and parallel circuits. By way of review, electrical energy in circuits, when utilized by a light bulb or lamp, is transformed into a combination of light energy as well as heat. The proportion of energy transformed into each depends on the property of the light bulb, which we won't discuss in this video. If we assume the amount of heat that's transformed from electrical energy due to resistive heat production is constant, then the brightness, which is an indication of the amount of light energy the light bulb produces, will be proportional to its electric power that's dissipated by the light bulb. And as we discussed in the previous video, electric power is equal to the voltage multiplied by the current passing through the light bulb. And in the case where the voltage supply to the circuit which is often provided by the battery, is kept constant, then the total power of the circuit will be given by the voltage squared divided by R. Again, we derive this equation by using Ohm's law. When connected in series, each light bulb will draw the same amount of current due to Kirchhoff's current law. Let's say we have a circuit containing a light bulb of a resistance of 2 ohms, and it's supplied by a battery with a 10 volt voltage. The power dissipated by this light bulb can be calculated by taking V squared and dividing by the resistance. Since the light bulb is the only component of the resistance in the circuit, it will use up all the voltage delivered by the battery. So the power of this light bulb will be 10 volts divided by 2 ohms, which will give us a value of 50 watts of power. Now, let's say I add an identical light bulb in series to this circuit without changing the total voltage or the battery of the circuits. By adding this light bulb in series, I've effectively increased the resistance from just 2 ohms to 4 ohms. Remember in a series circuit, the total resistance is simply the sum of the resistances of all the components. And since the voltage of the circuit is kept constant, a higher resistance will result in a lower current by Ohm's law, and therefore the total power of the circuit is also reduced. The reduced power is then shared between the two light bulbs, which means each light bulb will then receive a smaller amount of energy as well. So light bulbs will have reduced brightness after adding them in series. We can actually calculate the new power of the light bulb by considering the rule that voltage is always shared between the light bulbs or components when connected in series. The 10 volt voltage will be divided evenly between the two light bulbs due to the fact that they have the same resistance. So the first light bulb will use up 10 volts of voltage and so does the second one. That means the new power of the light bulb will be equal to the voltage squared, so 5 squared, divided by the resistance of 2 ohms. So this will be 25 divided by 2, which would give us an answer of 12.5 watts. Now you can see, even though the voltage supply is kept the same, by adding this additional light bulb, I've reduced the original power of 50 watts down to a quarter of its value, 12.5 watts. If we assume all of the electrical energy is transformed into light, then we can say the brightness has also been reduced by a factor of 4. Recall that each light bulb in a series circuit will always draw the same current no matter what the resistances are. The power of a light bulb can also be determined by multiplying current squared by their resistance. The current flowing through the light bulb, despite their difference in resistance, will draw the same amount of current. But since the first light bulb has a higher resistance of 4 ohms, it will lead to a greater amount of power. So the light bulb in a series circuit with a higher resistance will always use up more voltage or electrical energy and therefore produce more light energy and be brighter. Vice versa, the light bulb with lower resistance in a series circuit will use up less energy and therefore be dimmer. In contrast to series circuits, when light bulbs are connected in parallel, they will draw different amounts of current but receive equal amounts of energy from the battery. What's also different about a parallel circuit is that if we add an identical light bulb to the circuit in parallel, 
it actually reduces the total resistance and in turn increases the current by Ohm's law, which then consequently increases the total power delivered by the battery. However, this actually leads to the same brightness for the light bulbs. So when we add a second light bulb to the circuit, brightness of the original light bulb actually does not change. And this can be understood by remembering that the voltage across the two light bulbs, whether or not you've got an additional one added, will be exactly the same. So if we measure the voltage using voltmeters as so, you will have the same potential difference across the two light bulbs. Recall that the original power of the light bulb by itself before adding the additional one was 50 watts. Now that we've added a second identical light bulb in parallel, the voltage across the light bulb still remains as 10 volts. So we can simply calculate the power of each light bulb by taking V squared divided by the resistance. And this will give us 10 squared divided by 2, which will also be the same number power of 50 watts. We can also consider the second equation of I squared R. In this case, we need to calculate the current that actually flows through each of the light bulbs. Firstly, we can calculate the total resistance of this parallel circuit by combining the reciprocal of the resistances of the two light bulbs. So it will be a half plus a half, which will be 1. This means the resistance of the parallel circuit will be simply 1 ohm. By using Ohm's law, we will divide 10 volts, which is the total voltage, by 1 ohm, the total resistance, will get a current of 10 amps. So this battery will deliver a current of 10 amps. Since the two light bulbs have the same resistance, the 10 amps of current will divide equally among them. So 5 amps will go through the first light bulb, and also the second light bulb. So in this case, the power of the light bulb will be the current squared times by the resistance, which is 2 ohms. In this case, it will be 25 times by 2, and we'll also get the same value of power of 50 watts. So you can see that despite adding the same light bulb to the circuit in parallel, the power from the beginning and the power at the end are exactly unchanged. This supports the fact that by adding a light bulb in parallel, the light bulbs will remain the same in terms of their brightness. Now, something else about parallel circuits is also quite different to how it works in series circuits. Remember that in a series circuit, the light bulb with the higher resistance actually uses more power and ends up being brighter. In a parallel circuit, this is quite the opposite. Remember in the parallel circuit, our voltage across a light bulb is constant. So we are doing the same amount of work to push the electrons through the two light bulbs despite the differences in the resistance. So the current or the amount of charge will preferentially go through the light bulb with a 2 ohm resistance compared to the light bulb with a 4 ohm resistance. So this light bulb here will draw more current compared to this light bulb with a higher resistance will draw less current. And recall that power can also be calculated by I squared R. The light bulb that draws a greater amount of current will have a higher power and therefore will be brighter. And vice versa, the light bulb with a higher resistance will draw less current in the parallel circuit and therefore be dimmer. So to summarize, when we have identical light bulbs connected in series versus parallel, this has a different effect on their respective brightnesses. In a series circuit, the higher total resistance causes the battery to deliver a lower total current and therefore lower electric power. And this lower electric power is further divided among the light bulbs, leading to a reduced brightness. In a parallel circuit, adding this additional light bulb will actually result in a lower total resistance for the entire circuit, which will help the battery deliver a higher total current and therefore higher amount of electric power. And as we just went through, the brightness is actually unchanged. Hey everyone, if you found this video helpful, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Want even more? Become a Patreon member for early access to videos, exclusive Discord discussions about questions on chemistry and physics, and live preparation sessions for your exams. Don't forget to head over to our website for topic tests and practice exams to further improve your understanding and learning.